Hello, Ride E fellows. The onboarding process starts immediately after purchasing the device. After the buyer lands on the order confirmation page, we see that the order has been confirmed and within a few seconds after the confirmed order, we receive an email confirmation of the order. It looks like this. Here we have the order number and brief order details. From this email, we can follow the link to view the order confirmation details. We also have two options to contact support. For example, if the delivery address has changed and we want to update it either via email or through the support portal, such requests can be directed. Several hours after the order is created and confirmed, another email arrives. This email contains confirmation of creating a driver account and login details for accessing the account. Here we have the login and a temporary password that we can change after logging in. But before that, it is recommended to follow the email verification link to our account. Also, here we have details about the referral program and a link to the Ridey Android app. The first thing we will do here is confirm our email. This is done to truly verify the driver's account email. On the confirmation screen, we see that the email has been confirmed. Moreover, the confirmed email triggers the creation of an account for the current driver. Accordingly, here we see a message that the Stripe Connect account has been created, and now we can proceed to the Stripe page and provide the necessary details for verification already in Stripe. Unfortunately, without email confirmation, the account cannot be created because the email is the primary key for the created account. Once we have confirmed our email for the RIDE system, this event, the email confirmation event, triggers the automatic creation of a Stripe account. What do we see next? We receive the next message in our email that a Stripe account has been created. This is general information from which we understand that with our confirmed email, a Stripe account has been created and we need to proceed to our Ride e page to fill in the necessary data. The next steps can be done regardless of whether in the mobile application or in the web application. In this case, I will do it through, it doesn't matter. You can do it through the web or you can do it in the mobile application too. And what will I do now? I will try to copy the address and log into the Ride e mobile application with this address. And next we copy the temporary password that we have here. With this temporary password, let's log into the Ridey app. Here, we are not interested in working with the vending device yet. We are interested in the settings section. And what do we see here? That our driver status is pending and our Stripe account status is also pending. We also see that we have a outstanding issue for onboarding in Stripe. This is the first section that catches our attention and this is what we should work on first. Let's go in here. We are redirected to the Stripe website. Here we begin to enter our details according to Stripe's requirements. In this case, I am currently in a testing environment. In a real environment, it's all the same, with one exception. We will need to enter real data everywhere. In the testing environment, I enter test data to confirm our account. We have entered our address, our phone number. We will receive an SMS with verification of this number. In this case, we will use a test code, a test code to confirm our phone number. And here we continue to go through the onboarding steps. Here we enter all the information requested according to our real data. Well, again, since we are in a testing environment here, I will enter some test data for the social security number as well. Another thing to note here is that by default, firstly, the account is created for individuals and individual entrepreneurs. If there is someone for whom it would be more relevant to use an account associated with a legal entity of any organizational and legal form, then this issue also needs to be resolved through support. By default, our account is simply associated with individuals. If we want it to be associated with an LLC or any other form of organization, then we need to write a support request. In this case, the current account in Ride E, created by default, will be deleted, and a new account in the legal entity mode will be created. 
Then all these account verification steps will need to be repeated anew. Another point, the set of fields that Stripe requests here depends on the country. That is on the country of the account itself that we are setting up. Right now we are looking at the United States. Here accordingly is the next set of fields. The social security number is the main field here that interests us. Then there will be some other fields in other countries. Here will be other fields that are required to uniquely identify a citizen of another country. In this case, for the U.S. taxpayer identification number, here we see that we have a comment that if we act as an individual, then the same SSN is indicated here. If we have any other identification numbers, then we indicate them accordingly. If the current user is registering simply as an individual or as a sole proprietor, so to speak, then SSN is the main and only identifier. There is no need to rush and obtain this TIN. At this step, we need to link our card or bank account to the account in order to receive payments for the goods sold. Accordingly, there are many options here as to which banks are supported, which cards are supported, and so on. Therefore, each person will choose the most suitable option for themselves to link their bank account, their debit card for payments, which is more convenient for everyone here. And the final step is to review the provided data. Here you can also edit them. You will be able to edit them later as well. Review the account agreement with Stripe. This agreement is published by Stripe itself, not RIDE. And then we need to double check the entered data, confirm the data and click submit. Then we return to our account page. We see the same picture again, that our Stripe account requires attention, that some data are still unconfirmed. The first option is that we can go to the Payment Account tab and see what is happening here. Here we have brief information about the reasons for our current status in Stripe. See the header, Stripe Account Disabled Reasons. Here it says that the reason is pending verification, which is the most common, but at the same time the simplest. We just need to wait for our submitted data to be verified, and we will receive a response, either confirming them or requiring additional verification. We may need to answer some questions or provide additional information. From the same page, we can go to our Stripe account and see if there is anything there, any modifications, any notifications, or if anything is required from us. This same link can be used in the future for monitoring our transactions all our sales and our revenue. And here we will see our statistics collected on the Stripe side for the selected period. And here we will also see our payouts to our account. This refers to the payouts from Stripe to the linked account that we set up during registration. Currently here we see that there are no notifications, no fields marked in red. From this we conclude that perhaps our verification has already passed. How can we confirm this? First we return to our email and check. We have another notification about the status update of our account. If the verification is successful, we receive a message that our account is activated. And if our data verification is unsuccessful or some data is missing, then we will see a message about it that the account in the message here current status will not be active, but disabled. And accordingly, here we will have some explanations as well. What exactly went wrong? What requires additional attention? Accordingly, moving back to the Ridey app, we can close our settings and return to the driver settings. And now here, we already see that your driver status is active. This concludes the activation of our account. We can return to our Stripe page directly via the link. Yes, here we can open and see all our transactions. We can go back to our profile, change some of our data, for example, payout details, payout account, where our payouts are made. Yes, essentially the account activation ends here. The next step after this will be working with the products for sales. While our device is still on its way and before we receive it, we need to plan what we will sell. We will do this through the products section. Here we have the option to request a new product and we will initiate this process. Overall, everything here should be quite intuitive. We scan the bar or Eon code of the product packaging and send it for approval. This way, we build our list of products that we will sell. If there's no barcode, please send request to the support. And the final step before starting sales will be to enter the ID of our device when it arrives. Here we can enter its number, a unique number printed on the QR code tab. 
By entering the number, we attach this device to our account. If the number is entered correctly, here on this My Device tab, we will see the planogram of our device, that is, how products are placed in the compartments. Here, we can work directly with the pockets. If the number is entered incorrectly, as it happened to me just now, nothing will happen. The number is incorrect, so the device did not connect. That's probably all. These are the main points. Let's not forget that we can always send a message to customer support if we have any questions. This can be done directly from the app by sending a support request to our support email or through the support form. Any of the links from our emails will do. Either via email or through the support portal, all these methods are equally good. They will all lead us to the same result. The request will reach the support team and then we can continue the communication there. I guess that's all. Yes, these are the main points regarding the account registration. Thank you.